I've just uh, popped into Specsavers to get my glasses fixed. And uh, walked there and walked back and actually never thought anything of it until I got here and thought, that distance, there is no way I could have done that, even maybe just a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, the, uh, the, the crutch fitness is just sneaking up on me gradually. And I've just found out that the leg is in the mail. The courier has just picked it up this morning from the Dunedin Limb Centre and I'm hoping I'll have it tomorrow. I am not doing work um, until five o'clock today. I've got the day off, but I have just uh, called the couriers um, because I couldn't get the tracking number to work to find out where my leg parcel is. And the courier said that the driver from Dunedin had just arrived in. Uh, we had a good old laugh because when I said it was a leg, he said he laughed. I said, no, 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 seriously, it is. It is my prosthetic leg. He asked, was it in a box? I said, my God, I hope so. Because can you imagine if it was shrink wrapped? That would give the courier a bit of a fright. And he uh, thought this was all quite hilarious. And after he got off the phone to me, he was going to go and have a look for the parcel to see what it looked like. <laughs> anyway, I am driving back to work because apparently it will go on this afternoon's driver run and I will get it this afternoon sometime. Uh, if not, uh, the um, regional sorting office is just around the corner from work so I could finish the day today on two legs how exciting well this is just kind of a tiny bit exciting because I got in the car and drove to work the second I put the phone down to the courier guy in the depot and when I got here there was a parcel um, a card on the doorstep and the parcel was next door at unit four and here it is so this is how a leg is transported in the post this is the foot down here so I'm going to wrap, unwrap it right now. So here is the leg. It's not quite as I expected it to look. Um, but anyway, I didn't expect it to have socks on it. I'm not sure what I expected. But we'll see. What does it look like under there? Oh, yeah, it's just sort of built up. It's not actually a, a finished skin covering. It's just like a skin shape with a sock over it up to the knee. Um, but let's see how it goes. I will try it on and I will let you know. So we have sort of like a skin colored socket. We've still got the overlayer. This one is slightly bigger than the other one. It's got more of a taper at the top. So I'm hoping it won't roll down quite as much and it goes on a lot tighter. Let me just show you. So pushing it in, I have to really, really push it in. And then we roll this on over the top. This is looking much better um, than it did before. Because it doesn't roll down, but it is a little loose at the top. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how we go with it. We'll see how we go. So what does walking look like? Let's find out. There we go. How cool is that? Using no crutch. Not far off, not far off. I'm just gonna keep it for now because it keeps me upright and stops the wobble, but I think I'm gonna be able to get rid of it quite soon. What is exciting though is I've got a free hand, which means I can carry coffee and all sorts of things, which is excellent. So what I'm gonna try when I get home this evening is the leggings. I can't wait to see what they look like. I think they'll be a little lumpy on one side, I think, but they might work now that I've got two ankles that are similar shapes. As suspected, there's a wee bit of cutting in at the back of my leg. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually the socket or whether it's actually the liner and all those other things creasing. It could be because it feels like it's further up on my hamstring. Anyway, I'm going to ask the prosthetist. That was a spin bike, so there's no way I could get on my time trial bike. But if I was to get some clip pedals for my mountain bike and put it on my old trainer, that might work.